Hi, I'm Chris, Systems Design Engineer at Ampertronic, and I'm quickly going to show you how to fit a Nutrik NL4 speed on connector to your twisted feed cables. So, in the pack, you'll find five parts if you open that out. First thing is you've got two different strain reliefs. So, the white one is for a slightly smaller diameter cable, um, so that's going to be most suitable for what we're using here. So, you can discard the black strain relief. First thing you need to do is put the blue bush over the cable, it slides on like that, and then put the strain relief on as well. So, you've got those on, and now you're ready to fit the actual connector. You see it's an NL4 connector so it's got four little screw terminals in there and they're marked up plus and minus one and plus and minus two. And because the outputs of the amplifier are parallel to um, one and two, it doesn't matter which ones you use as long as one's a plus and one's a minus. We'll use um, plus and minus one. What you'll find is that the positive and negative pairs are the screws point in the same direction. So you can see here these are plus and minus one, these are plus and minus two. It's quite easy to see which ones you need. This is minus one. What we'll do is uh, get the first end of your feed cable and just pop that in plus one there. You'll probably have to loosen the screws up a little bit before you start. And then just tighten that up. I'm going to use a small cross head screwdriver like a posi two. And then um, then just fit into minus one as well, hold that end and tighten it up. If you've got a soldering iron to hand, it might be worth tinning the ends just to keep them nice and neat as you're fitting this. Make sure they're nice and tight so they're not going to come out. Now if you pull the strain relief up, what you'll notice is there's a little, um, little notch sticking up on the NL4. And there's a matching one on the strain relief too, which is just there, so you need to line those up and um, just locate all the little kind of pins and the tabs there. So you need to fit the, um, the little chassis to it and this is where you need to pay attention to little tabs. So on the chassis there's a, a little groove so you line up so that the, uh, the tabs go in that groove there. Just push that through, bring up the blue bush, screw that on nice and tight so the strain relief's tightened up on the cable. We notice this is some flat parts there so if you want to get it really tight you can put a, uh, a spanner on there. Just make sure it's really tight and you'll see that the white strain relief is gripped onto the cable. And that's it, that's your Speedcon terminated, ready to plug into the amplifier. Thanks for watching, I hope that helps. If you've got any more questions just email us at support at